Okay, so what I want to do in this video is just take a closer look at ActionScript and the Actions panel. Okay, so I am in Flash CS5 right now. And when I come onto my timeline, let's take a look at that timeline. What I can see is I have my different layers. I have set this all up so it's of a film, right? Um, and I have my actions window. Now again, we want to always put all of our events that are going to happen in a um, in a flash movie on our actions panel. And if I take a look at this, first of all, where am I going to find the action script? Action script is a language. It's an object oriented uh, computer language, programming language that has interactivity. And it really is the language that that is what makes flash do what it does. So I'll find, we can find all of the code from our actions, pa actions window on our actions window. So we come to here and here we see it. Now, as we look at this the actions window, what we want to do is, I come at this all from as a designer, as an artist and designer. So really this window over here, unless you know a lot of action script, you don't really want to worry about it. So we're just going to close this off. Now we can see we have a larger region to uh, look at our um, actions. Now, what we're going to see too, in CS5, there's a new window called Code Snippets. I'm going to come back to Code Snippets. And Code Snippets are really awesome. Uh, we can say that they're making action scripts a little bit more WYSIWYG in a way, um, but not totally. Uh, but we'd still want to understand what the action script is and uh, what it's doing. We don't want to totally depend on code snippets, although they're really quite awesome. All right, so right now I'm looking at this and I don't see any action script. How do I see the action script? Well, what I need to do is <clears throat> if I click on, say, one of these objects within my actions window, I can see that I inserted a stop. If I click right there, I see the stop. Okay. Now let me click to this stop and take a look. I see now this one just has a stop on it. So let's take a look at this, this stop in my actions window. What I did, um, what happened here is there's a stop at line 29. And what I can see, I think it's 29. As I take a closer look, and I want to make this actions window a little bit smaller. I can come and hover down here and I can see, okay, this stop was inserted in frame 29. And this is what the action script for a stop looks like. What we're going to find as we look at action script, we're going to see that the color blue is used quite a bit. And the color blue is showing is whenever we see a word in blue, this is a word that is one of action scripts vocabulary words. So that word, the blue word, is communicates with ActionScript and makes Flash do what it does. Now, of course, it really is the putting together of several words and uh, quotation marks, semicolons, um, but the blue is one, one such thing. Now, for the stop, we see stop, and then we see our parentheses, and we see a semicolon. The semicolon in ActionScript is like a period in a sentence. So a period ends a sentence, the semicolon ends a line of action script. Now while I'm here, <clears throat> let's actually take a look at comments. And what we're going to find is we can insert comments in our code. This is a, a comment. Okay. <clears throat> now, why would you want to use a comment? Well, you may want to use a comment to leave a message for someone else who might be coming in and looking and working with your code, if you're working on a project with several people, you may also want to leave a comment for yourself so you can remember what exactly this is and what it is that you're doing. Okay. Now, when it's in gray and we're working in Flash and Action Script, Flash will not read what's in gray. Okay. Now, we can also use a comment if we wanted to disable a line of code. So let's say I wanted to just disable this line of code. I can just put that in and there I have it. Now if we go a little bit further, we can come right to here and I can see this little bubble up here and I can apply a line comment. And again, we can put comments in for lots of different kinds of things. Now let's go and take a little bit look, a, a closer look at some of the other um, code that we have at work within 
um, this video that I'm seeing right here. So if I come right into here, well, I could click right there. Okay, I don't see any action script in there. And what I could do is I could actually come in and I could write um, action script. Now, the action script can only be inserted where there is a keyframe. Okay, so if I come right here and I try to and I try to click and write something, um, and this will make a liar out of me. It's going to let me do it. Um, but a lot of times it works best when um, we have it inserted right within a comment, right within a frame. And if I come right here, this is actually going into frame one. Okay, so that's the mistake. I could insert something that would go right to frame one. So if I click right here, see what happens? I could see, okay, this is frame 14. So really what happens is um, even if you, you wrote a stop right in here, my actions window is not going to recognize that frame. Now let's take a look though, because I could come right in here and I could insert a keyframe. I could insert a keyframe right there. And now when I come to my actions window, take a look. It's saying frame 10. So I could apply action script to that keyframe, but it has to be applied to a keyframe in order for it to work. All right, so moving right along. Um, let's come and take a look right here. And it's right in this stop that all of these rules um, have been written uh, to make the buttons work, okay? All right, so <clears throat> now we can see though, as we look at this, it doesn't matter that the, um, I'm gonna pull this out, hold on. It doesn't matter that, you know, I've written this in frame 14 because this that we're looking at right here is written based on a button, okay? So, okay, so what we have right here, and I'm going to just hit return because this is separate, and line 3 to line 7 is one command, we can say. This is one event, and if we look at our action script, we can look and see that it actually is divided into two parts. The first part, line three, of what we're looking at is actually specifying the event that will take place. So what do I mean by that? Well, this is what it's saying. This is an event, this action script. And the event is, it's a mouse event and it's upon, upon click. Okay, so it's saying when the user clicks the about button, then the next lines four through seven are the second part of this action script, and that is the function. So it's saying, line three is saying to Flash, when the user clicks the About button, and then it goes to line four to seven, the function will be go to and play About. All right, so what does this mean? Well, when we come on in here, it's saying go to and play About. This is all About right in here these frames right there. Okay, we come to our next part. And did I close all my actions? No, I did not. All right, we have the images button. Again, what it's saying in, in action script language to Flash is when the user clicks the images button, go to and play images. Now, we can also, in our action script, we can insert a multi-line comment. So if I click apply block comment, I've just put this into a comment, okay? And what I might want to do with this, this is the exact same thing as a line comment, except it's more than one line. So that really, that really is the difference. How do I get rid of this? Well, if I just come in and I delete these two little commands. If I wanted to just write it in myself, again, I'm doing a forward slash and a star, and I would end it. If I didn't end it, it would still stay gray, but then I can close it coming up to the star and the forward slash. And then, okay, I can see now I'm back into um, action script. Now, when we write action script, we're going to see the use of blue font, black font, and green font. And we'll, I'll go get going over what these all, all mean in more of my videos based on Flash. Now, in Flash CS5, we have this awesome feature called the code snippet. So what we can do very easily with the code snippet is we can come into a frame. I could actually come in, I could select my about button. Um, I could select something, even a, a button. Let's say we wanted to add button functionality. I could click my button. And if I go into my properties panel, 
we can see that this is actually named about button. If I look to this button, this is named images button. This button is named contact button. Okay, and all I would need to do is open up my code snippets. And again, we can get our code snippets more than one place. I already have it open, but you'll find, and I'm sure you remember from earlier in this video, that the code snippet is right here too. So I could click that and there it is, the code snippets. Now, the code snippet has on it some of the most common um, action, script, action script stuff. So I could click here and I could say um, timeline navigation. Uh, and I could click and go to this frame and stop. But let me just click right into here, okay? And if I was to double click, stop at this frame, see what happened? The action script automatically was placed in here. And what it did on its own was it created a keyframe and a stop. And actually, it, it actually generated this action script. It said, stop at this frame. The flash timeline will stop, pause at the frame, where you insert this code can also be used to stop pause the timeline of movie clips all right i'm going to double click i want to try to let's see if i can let's see if i can okay so there we go um now i just showed you how to insert it on your own but that way we did it there now what if we say what if i i select this button and i say click to go to frame and stop i'm going to make my button work if i double click this it says click to frame click to go to frame and stop. Okay. Now what this did right here, it's saying clicking on the specified symbol is putting in this block quote. Um, and it's saying, this is the about button and it's going to the, the command, the function is going to be go to and stop. Now what it wants me to do though, it wants me to say which line, which frame I wanted to stop at. So there we have it. Just an overview of the code snippets. I go more into depth on the code snippets window and button functionality in other of my flash videos. This video I just wanted you to get familiarized with action script a bit, um, also comments, line comments, block quote comments, code snippets, and the actions window in general. Thanks for listening.